Thank you. And if I can move on to universal credit and the five-week wait, which obviously as a committee we've spent a lot of time on and um, your predecessor has answered many questions on this. And I recognise there are concerns around fraud. And I think we saw at the start of the pandemic how actually universal credit, where people moved out of work into universal credit, the five-week wait was potentially less of an issue and there were far less need for advances. However, as we speed up the move from people from legacy benefits onto universal credit, mm. Is there any chance that you will be taking a slightly different approach to the five-week wait um, within the department? Um, so I, 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 there are no immediate plans to change the way the five-week wait works. I mean, the, the reason, and, and I know the committee knows this, why we, we need to have this wait is, is there is an assessment period that is critical to working out what the UC payment should be. Um, I think the fact that we're able to provide advances on that is, is very important. In terms of legacy benefits, one of the biggest things that's happening in that space is the move from tax credits through to universal credit, and with that, the movement of some historic debt around tax credits, which is a far less um, uh, is a far more difficult system to get right and leads to over uh, awards and under payment, uh, payments and overpayments in a more dramatic fashion than, than UC ever will. So there, there, there is a kind of issue around that. You're then into how do you deal with those debts uh, that need to be repaid. And I think it's a fundamental principle that it's right that they are. And then you come down to the levels of, we get into the discussion about what the deduction arrangements are and how that works and uh, what levels uh, are, are applied. So um, I, I think answer, direct answer to your question about the five-week wait is I don't think we have any plans to change the way that part of the system is working at the moment. Thank you. And you touched there on um, the tax credit system and moving across. Um, obviously, again, we've heard much evidence about the amount of debt that comes across and the age of it. Do you have any indication of how old that debt is that's coming across? I think on average it's, it's about four years, just a little over four years. Um, um, yes. It's, it's, I, I think um, sort of hearing the evidence on that sort of debt moving across, it very much links into my previous question about the five-week wait, because the evidence we've heard very robustly is that the people who struggle the most in our society are those that are repaying debts, either to the Treasury or the DWP, be it the fi from the advance for the five-week wait if they've had to take one, or on their tax credits, and that well over 40% of those people using food banks are those that actually have these debts on their universal mm. credit. Mm. And I, I just wondered, is there an opportunity to revisit some of that? Because particularly with the five-week wait, it is obviously almost of our own creation, that debt that they're taking out. Um, and, and these people we are then seeing yeah. struggling to move forward because they are inheriting debt. And with tax credit, they often have no idea that debt's coming at them until they move across. Okay, so we, we did make a, a, a change in terms of the period over which the five-week wait uh, upfront payment can be repaid from 12 to 24 months to make that, that easier. Um, it is also the case that irrespective of where the debt uh, emerges from, whether it is tax credits, it's historic debt, it, it could be a requirement to make child maintenance payments, it could be uh, debt relating to rent that's there to keep somebody's roof above their, uh, their head and so on. So there are all sorts of reasons why that debt might be there. I think the important thing is the priority at which uh, the debt is, uh, is repaid and the kind of arrangements to make sure that people are not put in to undue hardship as a consequence of, of settling those debts through time. And there we've changed, as you'll know, the amount of the standard allowance that could be uh, taken in that respect from 40% to 30% to 25% as I think it is now. Um, and a number of the points that I made around the sanctions regime I think also apply to you know, proportionality and not seeing people in an extreme situation and having those discussions and doing things in a proportionate and measured way, in an appropriate way, uh, are very important. Thank you. Thank you, Chair.